So here at ASH, I'm also presenting an oral presentation that explores Richter's transformation that has developed after our novel therapies. So. In the last 10 years, the treatment of CLL has been revolutionized with the development of abrutinib, the BTK inhibitor, um, along with acalabrutinib, xanabrutinib, and now pirtabrutinib, um, and BCL2 inhibitors with venetoclax. Um, but the problem is, is that, unfortunately, the um, outcomes with Richter's transformation, which is when CLL transforms into an aggressive lymphoma, continue to be poor. And all of the studies that we've had previously that looked at Richter's transformation, they've all received chemoimmunotherapy, because that's what we typically use for CLL. So now we have a new group of Richter's transformation that never received chemoimmunotherapy. So the question becomes, does that group of patients with Richter's transformation, do they live better? Do they have poorer outcomes? Do they respond better to a certain therapy? And so we decided to perform an international multi-center retrospective study of patients with Richter's transformation who never received any chemoimmunotherapy. And we compared that group to patients who never received therapy to kind of give a comparative group to see what the outcomes looked like. So we worked with 11 different centers, both in the United States as well as in Australia, and we identify close to 240 patients with Richter's transformation, which is remarkable because Richter's transformation is a uh, rarer disease. And of those 240 patients, about a third had received prior therapy with our novel agents. Of those third, about 90% had received either a small molecule inhibitor with the BTK inhibitors or a BCL2 inhibitors. And about 10% of patients had received a monoclonal antibody, an anti-C20 monoclonal antibody and steroids, but they didn't receive chemotherapy, so we included them in our analysis. So we looked at this group of 80 patients, they continue to have a poor overall survival. So the median overall survival for this group of patients that never received chemoimmunotherapy was only eight months. Um, and this was significantly worse than those patients who never received treatment for their uh, CLL before developing Richter's transformation, where the median overall survival ranged between 43 months and 65 months. So what does this tell us? Um, it tells us that even in the era of novel therapies, patients with Richter's transformation continue to do poorly. Um, it tells tells us that the patients who never received treatment for their CLL and then develop Richter's transformation probably have a biologically different disease because they have so much better outcomes. So the next thing we looked at is what they received as their first line agent for the patients um, when they developed Richter's transformation. Um, and what we found was that for those patients who had previously received treatment, really nothing worked. Um, further highlighting that this really is an area of unmet need and we need to figure out what works for this patient group. Um, so overall, um, I think that this was just a really big identifier, right? It really highlighted the area of unmet need here that we really need to do better. And we need to do develop better by developing better therapies for our patients with Richter's transformation, because even with the development of our small molecule inhibitors, they continue to do poorly with a median overall survival of around eight months.